New details tonight about a terrifying crash on a North Carolina interstate. Take a look at this. Two tires flew right off a moving tractor trailer. One of them hit the windshield of a car, sending the driver to the hospital. NBC Charlotte's Brianna Harper is live tonight. Brianna, this is so scary. Sarah, it definitely is. You can imagine you can drive in along the road here right now. We're driving along I-77 and if something comes coming at your window, any type of debris, you really don't know what to do. But officials say if you take those right actions in that moment, it could possibly save your life. It's a startling sight. Flying mattresses, pieces of wood and metal all coming your way behind the wheel. Most recently for one driver traveling I-95, that dangerous debris turned out to be a tire crashing through the windshield. And it's, it's dangerous. I see, see debris on the side of the road all of the time. But this time, North Carolina State Highway Patrol says the flying tire actually came from a tractor trailer driving in the opposite direction. We're told the tire managed to bounce over the median, crashing head on into an SUV. The driver inside rushed to the hospital with serious injuries. A AAA report from 2017 found in North Carolina there were nearly 700 crashes caused by debris and close to 200 people were seriously hurt. AAA says in some cases, a dangerous debris can be avoided. Just pretend that when you secure your load that your loved ones are riding right behind you. It's also a good idea to constantly scan the road ahead of you, don't tailgate, and safely slow down if you see you're about to hit something. And State Highway Patrol says in this case on I-95, the tractor trailer actually drove at least five miles before he even realized that one of his tires had flown off. Now, at this point, State Highway Patrol says they are continuing to investigate this crash and no word yet if that truck driver will face any charges. Reporting live, I'm Brianna Harper for NBC Charlotte. All right, Brianna, thank you.